Oh, with the black suit, there is like, oh, I'm about to deep dig deep in you tonight, bitch. You about to get these 19 inches right now. And bro's like, oh God, please mercy. <laughs> oh my God. <gasps> How's it going, Squad Nation? It is your boy. And today we're back again with more Ultra Spider Man. Now, I touched up on a little bit, but I did tell you guys that very briefly, Peter Parker did wear the black suit. But I never really like went full and deep on, you know what I'm saying? Even though again, it was a very short time did when Peter wore the black suit. Like it was literally like it only lasted just like a few hours at most. But in those few hours, my man was a menace. <laughs> so we're gonna be, we're gonna like, you know what I'm saying, get into it right now. Now, the first thing to start off is that pretty much, if, if you guys haven't watched any of my, um, any of my Ultimate Spider-Man videos, again, I would highly encourage you to watch them, especially the Spider-Man Fights His Biggest Hater video. That one pretty much goes into deep on the whole Venom arc in that whole scenario and stuff like that. But to give you guys a very short summarization, Peter's father and Eddie's father both created the symbiote suit. They both created uh, off of Richard Parker's DNA. And apparently during like whatever happened during like before and then after Richard, you know what I'm saying? Peter's father and Eddie's father pretty much died in a freaking plane crash and stuff like that. Uh, Richard Parker was pressured into selling his, you know, the symbiote suit to a corporate, you know, corporation. So this obviously enrages Peter and this pretty much made Peter go through extreme lengths to get the suit back and pretty much do tests on it whatsoever. Now, when Peter finally wore the suit, my man was feeling, you know what I'm saying? He was feeling himself a little bit. He was feeling like he was Timothy, bro. I'm not gonna look. Look, if you guys know, you guys know. The black suit, when Peter wears that suit, bro, the bro, bro is just on black Air Force activity, bro. Like, like, there's no question. This man is just on black Air Force activity 24 seven. There is no stopping this man. Well, there is one way to stop this man, but we'll get into it later. But anyways, so yeah. Pretty much, my man Spidey is just wearing the suit and he's basically just pretty much just being a menace to freaking society. He pretty much blitzes Shocker. <laughs> like, like, bro, like, again, like I said, Shocker is pretty much a joke in this universe, so it is what it is. He then rips a whole freaking car roof, literally goes into the freaking moving freaking car and he's like, hey, top of the morning. Bro gets shot by a freaking gun, but the soup someone protects him. He's like, oh shit. <laughs> I didn't know I was freaking bulletproof. Literally beats up the thugs and then just dips. And so far, my man is literally on cloud nine. My man is literally just being him. Then tragedy strikes. Uh Kirk pretty much shoots uh some kids, like, you know, parental guardian, I think uncle, whatever. And bro tracks him down into this abandoned warehouse. Who boy! Uh, <laughs> what a what a dash down memory lane, huh? Y'all, 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 yeah. Pretty much piecing it together here, yeah. Pretty much with it, it's very resemblance to how Peter pretty much tracked down his uncle Ben's murderer. And vice versa. It's like it's like Spider-Man's origin story all over again. Except now this bro got a black suit and he's dealing with a thug that looks nothing like his murder. But the symbiote suit tricks him into thinking like, "Yo, what the fuck? Hey, yo, you the man that killed my uncle?" And bro's like, "Yo, bro, I didn't know the guy I killed was your uncle, man. You guys look got a little different color or whatever." And bro, the bro with the black suit. There is like, oh, I'm about to deep, dig deep in you tonight, bitch. You about to get these 19 inches right now. And bro's like, oh, God, please, mercy. 
<laughs> like no cap, bro. Like, bruh, like the venom, like the venom suit just came right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just, bro, it just started acting up like crazy, bruh. And Pete's like, yo, 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 hold on, chill. I am not him. I am not, I am not like that. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> bro is out here really fighting the freaking suit and trying to get this damn thing off. And bro, it is an eternal struggle. Like the suit, like again, there is no freaking bells, no nothing, you know what I'm saying? Nothing to help this man out to get the suit off. But brother bear. But eventually my man Pete literally gets the suit off, but <laughs> bro realizes that he can't mess with it. And this pretty much kind of like leads into uh, pretty much, you know, talking with Eddie, telling him like the suit is pretty much bad. It's no go. And we pretty much know how that freaking situation ends up being. Again, like I said, if you really want to know what the frick happened afterwards, check out my Spider-Man um, fights his biggest hair video again i go very deep with that on the whole situation the only thing i didn't really talk about too much was the fact of his uh, peter's time in the black suit also while you're also looking at that be sure to also check out spider-man or a symbiote spider-man versus the avengers where my man literally wore the sec the symbiote suit for a second time but bro literally just goes on a freaking rampage and basically literally is an avenger level threat to call out the freaking avengers to fight him <laughs> Again, it's crazy, it's wild. Again, check those videos out. But anyways, that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like this video, comment down below, share this video across social media if you can, and subscribe if you're new to my channel. This is Blaze Like signing out. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace!